following a trail here in the sand. Hey! Right, here we come. Bike is loaded up. I have the Krieger OS system and a US 10 on the top there. I have got enough gear to camp, eat, drink, cook for two to three nights. And uh, I feel pretty, feel pretty good about this. It's nice and lightly loaded up and uh, we're gonna hit some sand. So let me get aboard this beast and fucking tear it up. I've got uh, two of my good riding buddies, Dick and Atreyu. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head to Dimboola and uh, camp there the night, hit the little desert tomorrow and uh, ride on to the big desert. Stay there for the night and uh, then make our way back via Albuquerque and Hindmarsh and all that. Oh good you guys, welcome back to Tory's Trails. All right, now on the Mackenzie Creek, heading into uh, Horsham via this, uh, this slip, this Mackenzie Creek, it's essentially a fire break road, which runs along the creek, so yeah, it's kind of nice, it uh, looks, get pretty wet through here but it looks pretty dry at the moment so it'll be a good test for these guys because little do they know that there's a very few, a couple of very sandy sections up ahead so it'll be interesting to see how they go on those which will be a little warm up for the desert riding. Bear in mind that we are all loaded so I'd have maybe 10 to 15 kilos of gear for these guys to have at least that. Uh, so you know it all adds up makes your bike handle a bit differently off-road it's got to be aware of it right to the limitations of your bike but yeah it's all good get a bit of footage of these fellas getting amongst it get on the pegs yeah Richard's got a lot of shit on his bike love it what's he what's he running I'm not sure of his pannier system but uh, Trey is running the Moscow, I think the Moscow, Moscow 80 or Moscow 60, I don't know, Moscow 40 maybe even, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we've got enough gear for a couple of relaxing days of camping out in the desert, so yeah, stay with us uh, on Torres Trails and uh, we should get some good, good footage the next few days, should be good fun. Lots of ruts here. They're all dry ruts, but you sort of have to watch you don't get stuck in them because they like to take your bike in certain places. Like that one. It's got to keep your eye on the trails, really. Oh. The little echidna. Hey, guys, look what we've got here. Little echidna. Off you go, mate. Get under that fence. Get under that fence. Can you get under the fence? Well, we'll leave him to it. Good on you, matey. Oh, he's digging in. Richard's on the pegs. He looks well loaded up on that Super Jewel. He really does. All right, sand starts pretty soon. I think. Richard's first taste of sand. All happening. There's only one way to learn, Richard. Jump off, Richard, I'll lift you up. Yeah, I know. This is just a warm up, you wait till you get to the little desert. Oh, like fucking hell, first of sand, fucking. Yeah, basically, what you need to do, need to it's very tempting to take your feet off the pegs, yeah. but it makes it harder. Yeah, yeah, no, So I'm if you can. Now, what are you doing, dickhead? Well, yeah, it's tricky, right? Yeah. It's not going to be easy, you're in for it, but if you stay on the pegs and sort of crouch back, just sort of like bum here, yeah. and, uh, you know, yeah, it's just going to take take a bit of learning. Yeah, yeah. You'll be right. Get on the pegs, Richard. Let that bike track. It's when you're going slow like this, like behind Richard, that's when you want to drop the bike. Just got to keep on those pegs, give it a bit of power. Oh, 
I think these guys are in for a bit of a surprise. Hang in there, Richard. What did you think of that, Richard? Um, crap. You didn't like that? Well, I liked it in a, like later tonight in the pub, I'll love it. <laughs> right now, it's type two fun. It's pretty weird, isn't it, riding on sand? Especially, I mean, you're a road biker mostly. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's about as far from track racing as you can get. Yes. Yeah, if my road bike was doing that, well, on a racetrack, I'd be frigging in the, on the floor in the weeds in seconds. I, th I deliberately took you this way. Yeah. Just because it had a few patches of sand for you to have a bit of a crack at. Bit of a hey, doggy. Do you see the echidna? Yeah. Um, no. I nearly went over it. Oh, on the road. Is that the thing on the road? I saw one. I saw one. Hey, dogs. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. Oh, very good girl. Yeah. All right, we just had a little stop at Subway here at Horsham, and we're going to head to Dimboola, set up camp, and then have a blast out in the sand. Should be good, should be good. All right, we are in Dimboola at the Riverside campsite. And uh, we've set up our tents, so we go. I'll have a look at the campsite a bit later on again, but uh, we're gonna head into the little desert unencumbered by gear luggage and all that sort of bizzo. Traction control is off on the uh, 690. Uh, tire pressures are lowered. And we're gonna hit it. All right, you're on with Tori's Trails and we're heading into the little desert. We're almost at the sand now. All right, so. It's game on. This, these guys are going to get into the sand very, very quickly and it'll be all happening. We're about to get in there. It's a little bit of hard pack and then fucking sand everywhere. Everywhere, guys. Oh, it's a learning curve, I tell you guys. If you haven't driven sand before, this is as hard as it gets. Well, some of the hardest sand out there. Big 690 doesn't, doesn't have any trouble with this stuff. She's a big girl, she loves it. Fucking loves it. She's fucking... Here he comes, the tray's all over it. Yeah, go for it, Richard. The old paddle leg trick, hey? It's the way to do it. When you're getting started, you get a bit of speed up. a Treyu coming up the sand dune. Go Atreyu! You got this man. Give it some. <laughs> you just did that for the camera! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Richard's down again. What happened, Dick? What happened? I got the leech in under the paddy rack. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but I was facing backwards. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. You gotta get up that sand dune. Yeah, I know. Camera person gets out of. Uh... You got it? Oh, he's got it. Ah, he's all over it. You got it? Yeah. Alright, mate. Let's see you then. You know, on this sort of start, Richard, start off in second. Second? Yep. And clutch it to get that bit more extra drive. Because if you start in first, you might spin too much and you just dig a hole. Yeah. He's having a rough day. Oh, good. You all right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Have a break here, Richard. Desert getting rained on. It's gonna be nice and cooling at least. Oh. That's awesome. Good job. On the leg. Yeah, you feel it. Got it? Yeah. Suits you more than the DR. It feels so much different. Yeah. It just glides across the sand. Oh it's yeah. So better. Yeah, well it's got stupid power. And it's pretty light. Like it'll be lighter than your DR. Yeah, it feels. About 150 kilos. So it'll be light. So pretty light. Well, the train is doing pretty good. I'll go and get behind him. Following a train here, the sand. You okay? Yeah, yeah I uh, I was in this lane here. <laughs> no, nah, it's alright, I don't think I heard anything. Ready? Actually pull it this way. Hang on, wait a sec. You ready? One, two, three. I caught that on video. Yeah, yeah. that was a block maneuver. Yours all good? Yeah, she's all right. All good. Bit of action for the camera. All right, keep it rolling. That was a bit of action. Fucking went down. Bit of 
bij hem. Motorcycles, I tell you what, it's fucking great. This thing just floats, it actually feels really easy to ride once you get to speed. <laughs> this bike's just pure sex, pure sex. Pure sex. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Well, we're on our way back. No damage to the bike. Bike is good. Amazing to ride on this stuff. I love this bike. This fucking does everything. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. This thing's a weapon. better on this sand than the fucking beta. Absolutely beautiful. Sandy, but the time of day is just just absolutely incredible. It's currently uh, probably seven o'clock. Got the sun behind us, which is really, really nice. You never want to be riding in this terrain into the sun, ideally. This is just spectacular riding. Berms everywhere. Oh, the old 690 loves this shit. I remember this section. Soft. Fucking soft. It's on, so I'm running low. I think I'll get back though. Ah, oh. here we go. Is it exit the trail? Where the fuck is he? New clutch. What's going on, Atreyu? Uh, well, I think I burnt my clutch out. Oh, fuck. So I'm going to try and get the case off. Yep. So tell us about the bodge you're going to do. That apparently, does it work? Where did you find it? Was it a reputable site? Or just... Dr. Google. Dr. Google. 
So Atreyu's taken off the right hand side case to get to the clutch plates. And I think he's going to apparently snap one of the clutch plates in half. Yep. And then stack it, giving the, the clutch hopefully a bit more, you know, ability to engage, yeah? Is that what we're doing? In theory, yeah. That should, yep. sounds pretty good, doesn't he it? He is an engineer. It does sound good. I'm not, I wouldn't want to place a bet on it though. Um, we have a fallback. We've got Dick. Hey, Dick. Dick has got pillion pegs. So, yeah, we could probably get a tray you home and... Oh, no, we have it. Oh, what? Come on. You're almost there. You lost it just before? Yeah, it's just gone down in there. Oh, shit. Well, we might find it. If not, that's a pretty common size. I've got a few of those at home. Um, yeah, like you packed yourself pretty, like you, you've done well. You've got everything here you need. All the tools required to do a pretty serious... It's a DR. It's a DR, yeah. A rock and a hammer. You could fix it with a rock and a hammer. Like... A leather bit and a rock. <laughs> You're going to tap it. Oh, there's another couple of bolts. Oh, yeah, fuck. Is that an oil pump in there? or? Uh, filter, yeah. Filter. But you don't need to take those off, no. Just, that should all come off together. So Trey has got the crutch, the uh, right hand case off, and he's now like he's a he's a very efficient worker. We're getting some DR surgery. He's almost got to the clutch plates. And how many are you gonna snap, a Trey? Just the one? Yeah. Just snap the one clutch plate. Try that. Tell you what, if this works, it'll be uh, it'll be a video on its own right, I reckon. So yeah, it's taken him about ten minutes, I think, to get rid of these bolts, get the right. Or maybe ten minutes, maybe longer than that. 20 minutes, 20 minute uh, surgery on the right hand side case. Didn't take long. Still hot in there. Oh, fuck yeah. Are they a pretty, st like, um, just trying to think, maybe Lisa could bring out some clutch plates in the morning. Yeah. That's... Where would you get them? Oh, just in a Suzuki dealer in the morning. Hang on, who's the Suzuki dealer? This is the... Fire Actually, they might have them in, they might have them in Horsham. Yeah, they might have, there's a Suzuki okay, dealer. Be, yeah, the KTM dealer, dealer is a Suzuki dealer, and it's a DR650. Yeah. They've got to have fucking clutch plates. Alright, let's yeah, do and, this and the clutch plates are fairly standard. So, look, we could we could do that. We could get Lisa to bring them out. Yeah. Bring out some new clutch plates. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Because, I don't know if this fix is going to give you a lot of time. This is what Dr. Google showed me. This is interesting. So, he snapped the clutch, the fibre plates, and he's now going to make a little stack. And hopefully that'll let the uh, clutch engage rather than just slip all the time and give him some drive. This this is pretty good shit. Ooh, okay. But it's because it's gonna be packed out so much, yeah. the plate's gonna be constant contact. So it won't have a clutch. You might be able to get something if you dial your lever like right up. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so if you dial it up super tight, you might better sort of just get a little bit of, you know, something. I've been, I've been filming the bloody bike. You haven't been much of a subject. I've just been putting it all on the... Filming the, the case. Now, there should be... I reckon you'll get two bolts if you lift that bike up. I reckon they fell down in there. And they would be maybe sitting against the other side of the steel frame. Well, heading back home, to, well, back to the campsite. We've had a bit of an epic mission to try and save the DR650. And the short of it is that we uh, we didn't save it. It's fucked. So we've pushed it into the bush and we'll probably try and recover it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, shit happens. Shit happens. Unfortunately, I think we've missed, missed the counter tees at... Uh, at the pub, I reckon they would have finished, which sucks. Um, but that said, I've still got some food I can cook up tonight when we get back to the campsite. 
All right, we're coffeeed up and we are going to head out into the desert. We are all coffeeed up. So this is rescue mission, uh, Saturday morning. Uh, yesterday we had a really awesome sand ride, baptism by sand for Atreyu and Richard. Uh, everything was going pretty good. They were loving it, getting their feel for the sand. Until, uh, towards the end of the ride, uh, Atreyu's clutch uh, burnt out. So he wasn't able to engage any gears, get any drive. So he tried a bodge that he learnt. Well, he didn't learn about the bodge. Well, he found a bodge on, on Google, which was to uh, take out a clutch plate, snap the clutch plate in half, and then stack it effectively packing out the, the clutch uh, the clutch plates, clutch basket thing, um, so that you could engage some gears, but um, it didn't work. It fucked up, so I thought it was a bit optimistic when he suggested it. It got dark and uh, yeah, anyway it didn't, it did, we didn't pull it off, so we abandoned the bike. Richard had pillion pegs, so he jumped on the back of Richard's bike and got home and uh, Lisa's come out with the four-wheel drive and the rack and roll and we're going to attempt, uh, we're going to head in there and load the bike up and take it home. So that's that's where we're at. But uh, yeah, I had a lovely night last night, had a few good cold beers in the Dimbula pub and uh, life is good. Life is very good. Coming along River Road, just a beautiful day here in mid-spring, uh, just out of Dimboola. This River Road sort of heads along the uh, southeastern edge of the little desert, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good little trail. It's very hard packed here. They've got some limestone down, and uh, you know, you can get up a bit further, and you got some very heavy sand. All right, let's do it. We'll see you guys back there. All right. All right. So we got the we got the DR650 on board. Lisa and Atreyu. We're gonna reckon you'll be able to get started. No. Oh, easy. Easy. Easy peasy. No worries. Piece of cake. Bike recovery mission a success. All right, Richard's up ahead. This is the track he did yesterday on the way in to town. And he is about 100% better today than he was yesterday. On the pegs, leaning back, getting stuck into it. Go Richard. Bloody good that he had a crack in the little desert, even though we had that issue with Atreyu's bike. Thanks for watching guys. Um, both Atreyu and Dick loved that uh, couple of days riding in the desert. They became much more adept just in that short period of time. Great thing about sand riding is that when you fall off you usually don't hurt yourself, especially when you're getting started. It's a nice soft landing usually. Um, and after after that sand adventure we um, were planning a Simpson crossing sometime this late this winter. So very much looking forward to it. We'll bring all of the details to you guys again on Tori's trails now rebranded to Tori Moto. Uh, if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button if you want to be notified of more videos as well as a little, um, little bell icon for notifications. But yeah, once again, uh, cheers and happy trails. This is Tori from Tori Moto. Talk to you next